Paris is well known for its charming streets, vibrant culture, and iconic landmarks. Millions of tourists from around the world come here each year to experience Paris's romantic atmosphere, but for those of us who live here, the reality of everyday life can be quite different, especially during winter and autumn. Once the leaves turn yellow and the temperature begins to drop, Paris transforms into a city of gloom painted with somber streets and melancholy skies. So in this video, I want to show you an average week in my life living in gloomy, cold, rainy Paris during winter, and also some of the methods and tricks that I like to use in order to brighten up my days. Literally. Okay, so tonight is Friday and I'm going to a witch party tonight. Okay, so it's not a real witch party, but we are basically getting together with three other of my very spiritual friends to basically celebrate the new moon in Aquarius. And I also believe that Pluto just entered Aquarius as well. So we're basically just getting together for some journaling, some energy cleansing, and just to chat about life and maybe the goals that we want to achieve for this year. I also believe that the Lunar New Year is next week. So it is a time of change, new beginnings, innovation. So that's what we're doing today. It's currently 5 p.m. It's already dark outside, but I'm excited to spend my Friday night with other like-minded people. So without any further ado, let's go and do some witchcraft. <laughs> See you guys later. Something else for people. Yeah. Hi guys, so I just got back home and this angle is horrendous from up down. <laughs> it's currently half past midnight. Yeah, it took me like an hour and a half to get home. It was super lovely, honestly. We did like a new moon ritual, we did a meditation, we did a lot of things. We also did like pick a card. We also was reading from like angel cards and tarot cards and yeah, it was super lovely. Yeah, I usually don't like to stay out too late in Paris, like I really don't like to like go home too late. Unless I don't feel that super safe in Paris. People always ask me this question, like is Paris safe for women? Is Paris safe at night? Blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I think it really depends on where you are, which area you are in. If you are with other people or you're completely by yourself, at what time of the day you're out. But yeah, I personally don't like to get home too late. But I would say like until like 1 a.m. 1 to a.m. I don't really mind being out. Also because there are like so many people going home from like a party or just drinking with friends. There are always so many people but I wouldn't stay out after like 2 a.m. Like I wouldn't do that. Like if I'm ever out and it's like past 2 a.m. I'm just gonna call an Uber. Like I'm not even gonna try. But I never had any problems to be honest. I, I'm really thankful but I never ever had any problems in Paris. Like I never, I never had anything happen to me. So I think it's all about being careful and just like not going to areas where you could potentially get hurt. But yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna take my shower now and then I'm gonna wrap up this day. Hope you're doing well. See you guys later. Hello guys, how are you doing? The light is really weird. It's currently raining and gloomy. Why am I always saying this? You guys already know that the weather in Paris is just really shit. Um, during winter. Today I am going to a museum with a friend. We're going to the decorative arts museum. I've been there in like October, I believe, with uh, another friend. But I'm going back there now for another exhibition that I haven't seen yet. So I'm really excited. I have a bunch of things to do, so I will try to get back home in time. I have to do my taxes for February. I have to just do a bunch of administrational stuff. See you guys at the museum and bye!
he's playing some video games. It is currently 11 p.m. I've been editing just until now. Yeah, I got home from the museum around like 6 p.m. and then I just ate. I cooked a little bit and then I was just working until now. I was editing, I was looking at job applications. <laughs> Um, but about the museum, oh my god, guys, the Iris Van Herpen exhibition was absolutely amazing. I truly recommend you guys check it out if you're interested in fashion, if you're like a fashionista, you're really interested in fashion. It was truly beautiful and I've never seen anything like this exhibition. So if you're like a fashionista and you're coming to Paris or you're already living here, I definitely recommend you check out this museum. I'm gonna go now to chill out a little bit and and I will see you very soon. Bye! Hello guys, so it is Tuesday today I believe and today I'm going over to my friend's place to cook together a vegan meal because she just turned vegan. I'm not vegan but I've been vegan for quite a long time. I still don't eat meat, I don't eat any kind of dairy stuff and I also don't eat gluten. So I'm technically, what am I? I'm like a vegan vegetarian hybrid, something like that. It's sunny today, I can't believe it. I haven't seen the sun in like three weeks, so today is a very special day. Without any further ado, let's head out. Let's go and cook. See you guys later. Also, the bangs are gone. The bangs are dead. Bangs have grown out. They're gone. I, I'm not in control of them anymore. That's what I'm left with. R.I.P. bangs. Hope you got somewhere to be. I've been floating out in space. I thought I'd write to you in case you felt alone. Just like me with this anxiety Is it all a simulation? One since heroes in an empty basement I wish I could be with you again Cause I'm lonely and suffer And I thought it'd get better And I hope to see your face somewhere Wow <gasps> Oh! Can I help you? I've got fantasies that we're it. driving down the boulevard. You hold me close, and all the scars are gone. I should say I don't think the same as I did when you saw me last. You didn't eat anything? Not even in the morning? Hello guys, so I'm in the middle of walking home. I just finished with my friend Rosie. But before I head home, I just wanted to sit down a little bit and talk about Moft, who I have partnered up with for this video. So when it comes to vlogging in Paris and just like vlogging in general, I think a lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually super shy. I really hate vlogging outside. I don't like attention. I don't like when people look at me. I don't like to take out my big camera and just vlog in public. Like even now, I chose a place to film where there's literally no one. I really don't like attention. I don't like it when people look at me when I'm vlogging outside. And so thanks to Moft's invisible tripod, I've been able to vlog a lot more outside recently. This is a super small and compact tripod that helps you film outside in peace without bringing too much attention to yourself. It has multiple different modes and angles that you can use depending on what you want to film. We have actually used this invisible tripod with my friend Rosie earlier to take pictures of our food with the Eiffel Tower. I also use it a lot whenever it is like a family gathering to take selfies. So I just want to say that if you are a fellow content creator or you're interested in getting on social media, creating content, doing vlogs, reels, TikToks, whatever, but you're uncomfortable filming yourself outside, you don't feel comfortable vlogging in public, I really recommend you try out the invisible tripod from Moft because it really makes vlogging and filming outside a 
lot more easy and convenient and just a lot less awkward so if you're an introvert like me and you want to get on social media then i really recommend you check out the invisible tripod from moft so thank you again so much to moft for partnering up with me for this video if you guys are interested in moft's efficient productivity enhancing portable products make sure to check out the description box down below for their website and i also have a 10 percent discount code that you can use on anything on moft's website so make sure that you check out that as well in the description box down below and without any further ado let's get back to this vlog <laughs> hello guys welcome back today is saturday and i'm going out today to take some photos with my old colleague my old friend from work and i overslept i woke up late I woke up at like 9 a.m. I woke up feeling so angry. <laughs> I'm not sure why, like sometimes I just, I don't know why, but sometimes I'm just in such like an angry mood. Like I'm angry at everybody and I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm not sure why that is, but sometimes I just feel very angry, especially like around my period. Plus it's raining outside, so I'm not sure how we're gonna shoot, but yeah, that's about it. It's raining. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. Hi babes, welcome back. Today it is Saturday. Today we're going to the cinema and then to our favorite vegan restaurant with my boyfriend. It is a restaurant that is absolutely amazing. The food is very high quality and it's all vegan and gluten-free. The restaurant is called The Friendly Kitchen and we're going there today. We're excited. We are also going to the cinema to watch a Japanese movie uh, that I forgot the name of. But um, that's what we are doing today. Yeah, thanks for watching my vlogs, by the way. Thanks for supporting the vlogs. You guys are the best and see you guys later.